You made me do it. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, you're here now. Get over it. We're just gonna cut to the chase, okay? I have one, two disclaimers, and then we're just gonna get right into it, okay? Don't worry, it's not gonna be an eight minute intro that all the noobs on the channel like to complain about. Here they come. One, today we're gonna be talking about the video that Gabby Hanna put out where she really thought she did something uh, about the podcast with her and Trisha Paytas. Because this podcast contains talk about Trisha Paytas, I want you to know right off the bat that I am making a very concerted effort to use Trisha's preferred pronouns, they, them, as opposed to she, her. I am inevitably going to screw that up, uh, but please know that is not intentional and I will attempt uh, to make note of that in editing and catch it if I can. Secondly, um, I have a video schedule here for the next few videos. I took a few days off the internet and now I need to catch up on some stuff and all of this is going down. So today you're seeing this video if I got it edited last night. Tomorrow we are doing a live. We do a live here every Friday night. You're always welcome to join in and hang out. Um, this Friday is going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do for Friday night's live is we are going to go through the entirety of the Trisha Paytas, Gabby Hanna uncut podcast together and we're gonna commentate on it together and uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be a time to be sure so we're gonna do that live at 8 30 p.m central standard time uh on friday night saturday at 8 30 p.m central standard time i will be doing a live premiere of the video jimmy snow mr atheist did about gabby Hanna. um so that will be that. Next week we'll cover Jeffree Star, we'll cover um, uh, maybe a little bit of the frenemy stuff, maybe the creep show art thing. We'll see what's first on the docket. I have a lot of catching up to do, so we're starting here, okay? Last but not least in my list of disclaimers, I do want to say that I know that Trisha Paytas is in, um, is, is maybe not necessarily in everyone's good favor at the moment because of all the frenemy stuff that's going down and I understand that. Um, what I want to do, if you don't mind, is take a look at this situation that we're looking at today between Trisha and Gabby with as much of an open mind about Trisha and about Gabby as you possibly can. I, for one, get called out about being biased against Gabby a lot and you know what? I can't lie to you, I am a little biased because I do think she's kind of a bad person. That being said, um, from what I've seen of this video, uh, I don't think my bias is going to be skewed in any other direction besides where it rests comfortably as of right now. So yes, I do have a bit of a bias about Gabby Hanna. I do have my own opinions about Trisha Paytas. Uh, however, I don't want what happened, what is happening currently with the frenemy situation to affect what happened in the past with this situation here if that makes sense you know what i mean i mean obviously like patterns of behavior or whatever sometimes those come up yada 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 you get what i'm saying you all understand how things work oh my god i'm out of breath and out of practice and all right so we're gonna sit here together like people and we are going to watch most of this video together uh, until you get the gist or you click off and leave because you're bored. This is, let's just watch it together, okay? So for almost two years, Trisha is dedicated to telling the world that they never met, were never friends, and she's never even watched any of her videos. Dedicated, heart and soul, because everyone's life revolves around Gabby. Not that I'm one to talk, I have a lot of Gabby Hanna videos, but I guarantee you my life does not revolve around her. I, I mean, I don't think Trisha Paytas alone is the convincing factor of, of what makes Gabby delusional. Uh, dangerous, an obsessed stalker who imagined years-long friendship. I mean, Gabby kind of 
puts that energy out on her own. I mean, writing a song for somebody, about somebody, including parts of it that, that involved their uh, very toxic public relationship, doesn't exactly scream, you know, not obsessed stalker. I removed this portion of the podcast because I had no desire to embarrass her. I just wanted to talk in person so that maybe she would leave me alone. What is, this doesn't even make sense. First of all, over and over again, Trisha said that they did not care whether or not Gabby edited the podcast or if she just left everything in. Like they said that several times, several. I have no desire to embarrass her about what? Not remembering the same things you do? I don't understand how any of this, and we'll watch it all in full, but like, I don't understand how any of this would be embarrassing for Trisha, to be completely honest with you. I just wanted to talk in person so maybe they would leave me alone. Leave me alone? Leave you alone for about what? If, if someone is saying, I don't, I don't, I was never friends with you and I do not want to be friends with you. At what point do they need to leave you alone? Asking for literally everyone. She told millions that I edited the podcast in my favor to make her look bad, did she? I know why I just want to cut a lot of stuff out because it's like, we're talking about shit that happened so long ago and we just have like, some different perceptions where it's like neither of us are lying it's just we perceive shit differently and i think it's not necessary to put it out online because honestly it's just embarrassing to like on my end like you know what i mean i believe she even encouraged gabby to put out the whole thing i believe gabby hannah's a liar but like the accusing me of like harassing you and stalking you, which- like, You did, I have those texts where I'm just like, stop texting me, like just stop yeah, texting me. Like okay. Now, there are a lot of receipts in this video and much like every Gabby Henna video, most of them don't make sense and aren't really that pertinent to the situation at hand. Sorry if my camera angle just changed. My um, camera just flew across the room like an actual demon. But in these receipts, Trisha's saying there's a reason no one likes you. Um, did I go and tell everyone you know? See, this is what Gabby does when she's confronted is that she, she assaults them verbally. I don't mean like by calling them names or like, or anything like that, but by, well, <laughs> except for Rachel Oates, of course. Th this entire screenshot is proof positive of exactly what Trisha Paytas is saying and not what Gabby Hanna is saying. She's literally saying, please leave me alone, go away, holy shit. And then <laughs> literally Gabby says, did I tweet it? Did I talk about it? And then says, nah, like I'm not gonna leave you alone. And then Trisha says, this is the shit I will tell people about. Like I'm asking you to leave me alone. And then Gabby says, bye Trish, good luck with your life. Like, <laughs> like how does, <laughs> prove what Gabby's saying and not what Trisha is saying. Like, Trisha literally, like, all they're saying is please leave me alone. And all Gabby is doing is, is antagonizing Trisha. It's bewildering to me. Yeah. Like, and both, I said it multiple I didn't, times. I didn't think that was super fair either because like when we were texting, we were both texting at the same time. So like, and I'm like, can we just when, end this? Stop it. Cause I felt like you were able to say whatever you wanted. And then when I responded. Okay. But whenever Gabby responds to something, she's antagonizing people. The thing is, is Gabby always says shit like this. Oh, as soon as I respond, it's not okay to talk about it anymore. Right? Well, yeah, because the way you talk to people sets the precedent for what the conversation is. If you're talking to somebody in a disrespectful manner, if you're trying to talk them in circles so that you can get the upper hand in the conversation, obviously, no one's gonna wanna fucking talk to you. You have to talk to people like they're people. The, the response because was like, you're harassing me. It's like, so you can no. make this accusation 
But if I respond, then I'm harassing but Gabby, you. You are you are very a paranoid person, and I, I like that Gabby did the closed caption of you are you are very a paranoid person, as if as if like Trisha misspeaking is warrants mockery. I had the perfect example when I you said you asked me for my address to send a book. And maybe you said the book, maybe you didn't, I don't remember. I made a video that had nothing to do with you. It was about another one of my YouTube friends, and you're like, wow, I can't believe you made a video saying I need clout from you. I have more followers. It's like all that stuff. I'd love to talk about that. Okay. Um, because I you and I talked about poetry, like when Okay. So this is Gabby and Trisha having a conversation about poetry. Even her telling her about her T her telling Trisha about her book and Trisha being like, oh my god, when does it come out? And Gabby being like, oh, September 19th, you should you should consider publishing your poems, basically. And them being just like, I self-published like seven books, I'm spent, but I do love writing. I like that you did poetry. I haven't read any YouTuber books, lol, but I'd read poems for show. Okay, like, I think Gabby has placed an entire friendship on Trisha genuinely just being like smiling like like the embodiment of smiling and nodding at someone that like you're just trying to be nice to so that they just stop talking I mean that's literally the vibe I've got and I'm look I'm no Trisha Paytas stand like I'm not gonna sit here and say Trisha, Pat Trisha Paytas is unproblematic I'm not going to say that they've done nothing wrong to Gabby Hanna to other people that they've made terrible terrible choices and have done very very damaging things to various communities I understand this okay I really really do but like I really do think that Trisha is literally just giving Gabby one of these. Just like, that's great. Because as they said multiple times in this podcast, they don't have friends and they don't, you know, really socialize much and they like it that way. So I feel like Gabby's desperation for Trisha's friendship and Trisha's desperation to be left the fuck alone uh, are where the two are miscommunicating. We were really yeah. friendly and we were talking about like my breakup or whatever. And then we talked about poetry and you sent me some of yours, I sent you some of mine. And I was like, when I was sending out PR, I asked you for your address to send you the book and you didn't answer, which was fine. And then the next day or the day after you put out a video being like, yeah, like YouTubers asking me for my address. Like, sorry, I'm not gonna promote your shitty book. Great. Joey sent me this awesome package. I don't, like when people ask me for my address, like I never give people my address. Well, obviously he knows mine because obviously he's been here, but like other YouTubers, if I'm not close with her, I'm not your friend. Like <laughs> I'm not about to like give you just, you know, what's your address? I can send you a fucking book so you can promote me now. Grace Hellbig, Mamrie Hart, Joey Graceffa. It's not about but then, you. But then my Gabby, wait, but so paranoid. And no, 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 but you think no, things are about you. But my text, I, the text that I sent to you was like, Hey, like, I just want you to know, I don't know if I have the text, like. First of all, let's play devil's advocate here and say that that video was about Gabby Hanna. So fucking what? So fucking what? Even if they were actually friends, Trisha doesn't owe Gabby anything. Whether or not her intention was to have Trisha promote it or if she just wanted her to have it because they talked about poetry, Trisha doesn't have to like Gabby. Gabby is so unokay with people not liking her that she has literally made a 21 minute video about how they were friends because it's impossible that they weren't. I'll read these texts to you because they are hard to read when you watch the video unless you really blow it up. So we're just gonna go through it. LOL girl, I just heard your comment in your vlog about, start, first of all, starting with LOL girl. Just kind of lets everybody no, the mood is light and airy. Just heard your comment in your vlog about YouTubers asking for your address to send you a book. I wasn't sending you a book to promote it. I have enough followers that I can promote my own book. We know, girl. I asked for your address because you said you liked poetry and you were excited for it, so I was sending you one as a gift because you were very kind to me when I told you about it. Honestly, if anyone ever sent me Gabby Hanna's book, either one of them, as a gift, I would send them a flaming bag of shit as a gift because that's the same thing. IDK if that was towards me or not, but as someone who asked for your address so I could send you a book and you didn't give it to me, you can see why I might think that. Anyway, just wanted to make sure you didn't think I was trying to get you to promote my book. 
Okay, really, why did... This was an unnecessary text, in my opinion. It was incredibly unnecessary. And then Trisha says, literally, not about you. That doesn't make any sense since we talk, and I know you. See, this is... Gabby's highlighting this because it says literally not about you, but it also says that she knows you. Because this is supposed to prove a point. This is supposed to be a nail in the coffin for Trish, I guess. Because they said they know you because you text. <laughs> and, okay, I'm sorry, but then she also highlights her response to that, which is, yeah, I didn't think it made sense either. Just like I said, I was making sure you didn't take it that way when I asked for your address because you actually didn't send it to me and then you post a video saying like, fuck these YouTubers who asked for your address to send a book, like I'm not gonna give it to you, but I'm glad you didn't think that. Yeah, that's so passive aggressive and manipulative language. You did think it made sense. Gabby absolutely thought that made sense. She was absolutely kind of knocking on that wall like, hey, I saw that video where you said that thing that I'm certain was about me. So transparent, it's gross. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, even if it wasn't about me, it was about me. So, wait a minute. I've heard that somewhere before. I know she's not speaking to me, but she's not not speaking to me. You know what I mean? Hmm. I've listen, girl. Show I've all these there. receipts. I haven't seen I one said, yet. I didn't know. Like, I don't know if you're talking about me, but like, I just want you to know. Like, I didn't want you to text me, or I didn't want to send you my book for promotion. I wanted to send it to you because we relayed it on poetry. So I just want you to know I wasn't trying to. Use I never you. even thought about you in that moment. And, and that's again, fine. that's fine. No, but you keep yeah. saying. Well, you, I asked because you talked about me, so I had to ask Gabby to talk shit. Like, you're, you're consumed with how I talk about you to people when I really don't give it a well, thought. You're... But all these things, it's like, oh, I hear you talk so much shit about me, which isn't even true. The people you said, I'm like, that didn't even happen. But it's like the fact that you're like, oh, I was so consumed by like, what you were saying about me behind my back. It's like, what? I didn't know you. Well, you I never said me. I was so consumed. I've, I feel like I've always texted you privately. I also know that like, you have been in situations where you feel very taken advantage of and I did, like in that situation in particular yeah like I'd literally just asked you like hey I really want your address so I can send you my book mm -hmm. and then you put out this vlog saying like sorry I'm not going to give you my address so you can send me your shitty book so like to me of course I'm going to think like that's about me but like then I would I, never that's but a then weird I thing just, but I'm going to just I'm going to go ahead and play the game fairly and say that I disagree with Trisha, I think that's absolutely a fair thing to assume. Uh, do I think this is a fair way to respond to that? No, absolutely not. This is an outrage. The fact that we've been talking about it this long is nuts. I think you just put way too much thought into what other people think about you, especially someone that you didn't met. We met once at my birthday party like, at that point. No, we met a couple times. When and else? We, and we texted a lot. Name one other time we met besides my birthday party. I don't want to say it online. We'll talk about it off. off. Because I don't, I don't want to start talking with other people. Oh, I don't want to start drama with other people except for Rachel Oates and uh, Angelica Oles and uh, Dom DeAngelis and, um, you know, really anybody, anybody else, really. Kevin, we never met any other time. Like, this is, like, what I'm saying really? is, like, because you just like, say it right now and cut it out. Like, you went on to, like, okay, I, I probably will, but, like, like the at uh, Joey's surprise party. Like, we met there, and then, like, you went on Shane's podcast and talked shit about me, and Shane hit me up and told me all the, na the shit you said about me and Ricky. An outrageous claim, to be sure. Gabrielle Hannah hath never been rude a day in her life. That you manipulative, narcissistic bitch. Ever. And I was just like, damn, like, I really tried to be her friend that night. Like, I tried so hard to be her friend, and, like, I sent her so I was there for messages. five minutes. Gabby just highlighted her own problem just in that quick little sentence. I tried so hard to be her friend that night. I tried so hard to be her friend. Stop. Sometimes people can gel in certain situations and not in other situations. You know, what works over text sometimes doesn't translate to a call. You know, sometimes it doesn't translate to an in-person relationship. And also... Let's get to what Trisha is about to say. I was there for five minutes. I, I didn't talk to anybody. I know. And I Trisha, her, Trisha, Trisha said, I was there for five minutes and I didn't talk to anybody. And Gabby said, I know. So she tried so hard to be your friend that night. But Trisha was there for five minutes. 
confirmed by Gabby. What does Gabby think she's doing with this video? Literally, what is this supposed to prove? We're gonna read some of these texts. We're gonna read what Gabby's highlighted and we're gonna read the other stuff too because usually there's stuff in here that makes no sense or contradicts her. Trisha says in this first one, sorry for lack of response. I honestly feel like every time I see you, you like hate me, LOL. Which to me, I would read that if I received that text because I haven't read the rest of this one yet. I would read that as every time I see you somewhere, things go awry and you and I feel like you end up hating me. That's how I read that. Gabby's response is, girl, I've only seen you three times. Illuminati confirmed. The first was your stand-up show and we were really friendly. The second was your party and I literally barely saw you slash didn't have a voice so I literally couldn't talk to anyone inside. The third was Joey's party and I was having the most anxiety of my life because I brought, I'm guessing that's Andrew, and didn't RSVP him so he didn't have a seat and I was super embarrassed and uncomfortable and I didn't bring a present because I didn't have time and I felt like people were judging me and I was imploding, then you were gone. Then I sent you 400 voice memos and texts. Okay, so that right there sounds like a whole lot. That sounds overwhelming. Joey's party was the worst, Trish said. Trisha says everyone was super standoffish and I get it because I got a big mouth. But I was just like, it sucked. If Shane's not around, no one likes me, lol. Made me so uncomfortable. I'm like, never again, hate it. And Gabby says, well, I don't think anyone was purposely, purposely standoffish. I think it was a really weird mix of people doing their best to talk to groups of people they barely know and inserting themselves. I stuck to, I'm good, I guess, Andrew all night while people talked to me. Every time I looked over to you to talk to you, you were talking to someone else, then you were gone. Uh, Trisha said, it's all good, it's whatever, YouTubers scare me in general, love being antisocial. Well, yeah, but also me and Liza were really excited to talk to you. Okay, again, settle down. Like, chill. Trisha says, she was sweet, I only talked to her for like 10 seconds, but a lot were actually downright rude to me, including Ricky, which was disheartening because he's all up in my ass when Shane's around. Uh, Gabby says, Ricky was really bummed when he left too. We were both like, what the fuck, where did Trish go? Trisha said he was extremely rude to me. I tried talking to him and he said, not right now, and then asked me to move my seat down. And then that's where Trisha said, we used to text so much and then in person, it's like not. So clearly they gel in text form, not in person. I'm probably being oversensitive, just wanna let you know where I was coming from when I didn't respond. I definitely tried to talk to everyone and then sat alone for 45 minutes and then left. I honestly don't care anymore. Okay, so it sounds like the party wasn't for Trish. So they left and Gabby still thinks she did something with this video. Podcast to be like, yeah, everybody treated me there like shit. And then like Shane hit me up afterward to tell me specifically what you said about me and Ricky specifically. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I but once again, you're believing, so many, you're like, just hearing all these rumors and stuff like that. There's no but validation. But then after that, you also like stopped answering my texts. You started talking shit about YouTubers at parties and like this bad experience. You had. I thought you said we were so friendly all these years. I, I thought we were. Thanksgiving. Sorry, but Trisha nailed it there. I so then we were, were friends after that? No, we, that was before. That was literally, that was the party where like our communication ended was like that, that party. Okay. confused because she didn't know Trisha well enough at this point for her to say she hated her she had only met her briefly three times didn't she just reference the fact that they were friends for like six years I was also irritated that she kept telling people that Ricky Dylan and I were rude to her and confused because she was the one ignoring my messages after the party well if you somebody's rude to you why would they respond to your messages back off all I'm getting from this is that Gabby comes on really strong to people who don't fucking want her to. Following up and saying, I didn't want you to think I wasn't responding for no reason. So then Gabby's response is, but girl, you didn't approach me except for when I first walked in. If you would have come to us, we would have talked to you just like we talked to everyone who wanted to talk. Okay, stop. Like all she needed to say at that juncture was, okay, Trish, no problem, you know, I get it. Not, par not every party is for everyone. Okay, I mean, there's no part arguing about something so silly. I'm just telling you my interpretation. No worries. Girl, and I'm telling you mine. Don't bring your guard up so quick, baby. Like, what? Don't bring your guard up. You're talking. 
you're talking at them like they're committing a crime for having left a party early and feeling like people were rude to them. Like imagine how I felt, oh my God, if I have to imagine how Gabby Hanna feels when someone else is telling them their problems, I swear to God. Imagine how I felt, someone who texts you all the time, loves what you do online, and all of a sudden you start ignoring me. And Trisha just responds, LOL. I love that. Then I hear you talk online about how everyone was so rude to you at this party. I send you a three... I sent you a three minute voice note apologizing for something I didn't actually do, but I knew you felt that way and didn't want you to be sad or feel left out or lonely. And that got ignored. Okay, here's the thing. Gabby Hanna sees apologies as something that requires reciprocity, okay? If you give an apology, you should either receive praise or an apology in return. That is how Gabby Hanna operates. That is a pattern of behavior with Gabby Hanna. Um, so she wants, now she wants Trisha to walk a mile in her shoes and in her shoes, Gabby's shoes, uh, she feels like now she's been wronged because she apologized for something she didn't actually do. Um, and and it and and her apology was ignored by someone she's met literally three times by her own admission. Oh my God. Well, like I said, the ignoring thing was more of just the vibes I've got, especially off that party. I was like, okay, I mean, we, you were the only one, and Ricky are the only two that I actually like talk and have like a relationship with. I feel like again. Gabby is trying to do this thing where she's like, oh, look, she said we have a relationship, like we were friends. Clearly, you guys texted once in a while and you met a few times. I'm pretty sure what Trisha is saying by relationship is someone that she knows, someone she has an established connection of some sort with. This is sad and desperate. I feel like this has the opposite effect that Gabby probably wanted it to, to be completely honest with you. I thought I would just, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just feel like when I'm at parties and I have, like, a relationship with somebody, like, a previous that was, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I felt like I tried it. I tried, and I guess you felt like you tried, so I don't know. We're just at a move point, which it doesn't, it really, it really doesn't matter. I mean, on that note, like, I, if we're being, like, 100% honest, like, yeah, I totally did feel ignored and kind of, like, big times by you a little bit at the party and like in person in general like you know what I mean like at my birthday and stuff like that so it's not <laughs> I mean I guess I don't know I guess we both just feel our feelings got hurt I don't know I don't know that's just how I felt and so I was like okay I'm not gonna like force it A week or two later, I reached out because they were going through a hard time. They apologized to me and then opened up to me and now I'm going to share that with you because that's disgusting. They apologized to me and then opened up to me is a sentence that just makes the most sense in this video because that is, this person showed vulnerability and now I'm going to expose it to people because Gabby Hanna doesn't know how to be friends with people. We shared a lot about family issues, relationships, breakups, body image, friendships, loneliness, mental health, and life. Obviously, I won't be sharing those because those involve some of my personal issues. The hell with Trisha's, though. Really? A full timeline of your relationship? Yeah, that doesn't scream obsession okay. so like that after that point that was when like the jason shit happened where i was like well i feel like i can't reach out to her because she talks shit about me on this podcast she like has told shane all this shit and like whatever. i mean i feel like we should have people like bring it up i would love to hear where i mentioned your name on shane's podcast because again at that point i you, didn't you didn't say my, this this part's probably not going to make it in just like just shane's telling you this so you're shane's you're again once again someone that there's well, no I watched, proof i watched the podcast too and you're and what did i say it. what did i you're say there were these YouTubers, like, they act like they love me, they act like my fans, but then as soon as we're in <laughs> I never use the word fans about anybody, ever. Not even the people who support me. I hate the word fans. You said it in the video. Okay. Oh, my God. You know who you are if you're watching this. I'm sure they are because they're my biggest fans, but they treat me like shit in public. Hyperbolic. Using this 
I don't know the full context of the sentence, but again, my inference is that she's using fans hyperbolically. I hate you. I feel like I'm, I'm crazy. Not, I'm not trying to like. But no, you are, because you're telling me that what my that I something that I know in my brain is like. No, you did say that. It's like it's I don't I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, I said yeah. it. I don't know what I don't what else I didn't. Well, I don't refer to anyone as my fans. I don't refer to supporters yeah. as fans. Like it's creepy. It's cringy when people say I have fans. Like it's gross. Like yeah. I don't I don't say those words. Because they're my biggest fans. So maybe so maybe there's I'm a lot of receipts we need to see because I haven't seen yeah. one of these yet. Maybe I'm misremembering that part. But you're hearing stuff from just, everybody and just it, being like that's the truth. That's is it. that what you did to me? What? Where you heard all this shit from everybody? Yeah, I mean, my issue me. with you is never what anyone else told me. It was the issue I confronted you to, which is the herpes. You should never, ever comment about someone's sexual body history, all that stuff like that. I don't think that's appropriate ever. The fact that you and Shane gossip about it, you and Jason cop that's my issue with you. What other people say about gossip. What, you Shane know what people, the, the Vox Squad people yeah. told, told me stuff about you? Couldn't care less. And you not, like, giving credit so, to Dylan Gardner? So about it. What do you mean? Giving credit to Dylan Gardner. What do you mean? What? There's all the all the stuff I hear about you. We talked about Escape the Night. We so talked about all this stuff. So you do care because you're bringing it up. You still, you acknowledged it because you're bringing it up. How self-absorbed do you have to be to think that Trisha or anyone cares so much about your scandals and what people have to say about you that it's something that they're actively, actually holding on to in their daily lives? Trisha literally just said, I don't care about what people say about you, such as Escape the Night, not giving credit to Dylan Gardner for the satellite song. They're giving Gabby examples of the things that they do not care about. And Gabby is not listening. She's just waiting for her next opportunity to speak. You what are you I mean? talking about? Like, I didn't even know Dylan Gardner was a part of this. You know what I mean? So like, okay, this is clearly what you held on to. That's so gross. That is so disgusting. This like, oh my god, you like totally hold, you held on to this whole thing. Like you're holding on to my drama. No. Ew. Gabby, I couldn't care less now. You kept saying you care, you hear what everyone else says. I couldn't care less what people say about you. My issue is with you. That's it. I couldn't care less about anyone else's drama with you. That's not my issue. And there's like other shit. And again, I'm not here to like trick you and be like, I heard this from like Colleen or whatever. Like, wh Although I would like to hear what Colleen has to say. Whatever. I'm not trying to like trigger you with that stuff, but it's like, because it doesn't bother me. My issue is not what I hear from other people. You keep saying, well, Shane told me this and this. And it's like, what was your issue with me? Personally, you personally talked about my herpes, about my sexual. So I can show you right now. I'm my negative. I have a screenshot of the test. Trisha, I never cared if you had herpes. That's why I knew, I heard that rumor. We're gonna call it a rumor because it is. Because you don't have herpes, right? Because you don't have herpes, right? Let's keep talking about your sexual health because that wasn't the point of why Trisha was mad. The lack of tact, right then and there, to say, because you don't have you don't have herpes, right? Honestly, the fact that Gabby thinks that this video is painting her in a good light is haunting. Oh my gosh, the fact that my sexual, like, my sex no, status but, is still up for talk. Like, but it's not because it's you're, gross. you're saying you're negative. I never made it public. If I have her. fucking AIDS, it's no one's business. But Trish, I never made it public. I didn't, okay. but I didn't. Can you, okay, can Gabby, you admit that? No, that we didn't? just talked about this. What do you think? Let's see the receipts. Which Please note that Gabby Hanna just said, can you admit that, that I never made this public? Hold on to that for one second. You never brought up. I want to see, because I know you're the first person who made it public with my name on it. Okay, now this is supposed to really do something here. I don't know what. Um, because these are poorly pieced together screenshots. Yeah. Gabby did a piss poor job of scribbling out names, uh, especially with how sleuthy the internet is. There is a fly in here and it's driving me insane. Oh, okay, 100%, 100%, great. 100%, like I have, I have that. Okay. But regardless of that, like it was, I never made that shit public. That was, I texted you personally about some shit. You made a video called why I don't trust Gabby Hanna. And then I showed screenshots with your name scribbled out that people mm. said you can still see the T. You can see the full name. I have the I have the video too. You can Me see the full too. name. I have, you think I don't have everything? Okay, Gabby. But like this is the place I didn't want to get <laughs> no, to. No, but you're saying acknowledge that this is what happened when I'm like, that's not what happened. Like, don't I get me to acknowledge. I didn't say acknowledge that this would happen. You just did. You're like, you did started. I, but tell me if I did because I don't want to like. Yeah, you admit that. No, that we I just didn't? talked. 
she didn't say acknowledge. She said, can you admit that? Which is very different, clearly. I don't want to be in a place where I'm like, I didn't say that when I did. So like, please somebody tell me, did I say acknowledge this? Because if I did, I want to like, just right now be like. You guys go back to the same place. Yeah, like I don't, I don't want to get to a place like this isn't where I want to be with you. Cause like, I want us to be really good. Like I truly do. <laughs> yeah. that. like. That's why, like, I apologize from the jump about, like, this whole herpes situation. I've apologized publicly. I've apologized okay, to you personally. Okay, but uh, what my point is, is you're, like, you're hearing all this stuff, and that's your issue with me. I'm telling you my issue I have one-on-one -on -one with you. It's not what I hear. My issue isn't what the vlog squad thinks of you. But then you're also bringing up Dylan Gardner. You're bringing up the vlog squad. Because I'm telling you other issues that don't matter to me. These are issues I hear online. I told you, I'm a drama. I listened. But I'm... you still tweeted them. Yeah, I, of course so I did. So they don't bother you, but you tweeted them? That's not what you I'm very certain that Gabby's uh, goal is to be the most exhausting person on the internet so that she can be right about everything forever and ever until everyone is dead because they're just so goddamn tired of Gabby Hanna that they would rather be six feet under. That's just my guesstimation here. And I do want to read this because the point that Gabby's going to make in a minute, Trisha was not present for most of these and we can assume that they uh, perhaps, uh, just heard about some of these things because as they said, they enjoy the drama. Um, so they say the following, Hey Gabby, Hannah, I know I'm an easy target, but let's not forget you being a rape apologist proven recently. Awesome. That video was supposed to be out already. Lying about a man assaulting you, rice gum. Not paying your producers early on, not crediting your producers early on, leaving your best friend on New Year's Eve while she was fucked up, lying about people's sexual health, DMing underage fans, manipulating your ex-boyfriend to tears, reducing a former YouTuber up to tears so that they quit. Put a pin in that for a hot sec. They don't bother me. You, to me, so I just, because you're a character online that I talk about, Gabby. But I'm not a character. I'm a human being. Gabby, I've never met you before this. Yes, you have. Oh Multiple my god, times. my 60 second birthday you party. They've met a few times. Literally, like, as if Gabby doesn't talk about other people on Twitter in general. Really? Like, she's reducing it so far down to semantics. First of all, she's reducing an issue that literally nobody gives a shit about. I can't stress how few fucks I give about whether or not Gabby Hanna and Trisha Paytas were actually friends. I don't fucking care. Because at the end of the day, I think what Gabby Hanna did with the whole herpes gate thing was fucking despicable. And I think it was disgusting. Regardless of what I think about Trisha Paytas. Reducing the entire dumb ass thing down to semantics is f stupid. Why are you still talking about it? Who cares? You literally tweeted every time I hang out with Gabby, we never get a selfie and it upsets me. Have you never like made a, like an enthusiastic tweet about someone that like maybe you don't like that much? Like, have you ever just been really polite to someone who just like is kind of annoying but like they're around all the time and like you just you want to be enthusiastic around them or whatever like man like there's so much that's easily inferred about these tweets like they just should be understood and they're being torn down to semantics to prove that these two people were friends when in fact it seems as though they were not and nobody cares in the first place by the way it's very evident why this would trigger someone who hears voices. This is gaslighting is what it is. It's actual, literal. This is actual gaslighting. But don't worry because she will eventually accuse Trisha of being the one gaslighting her. We've never hung out. We've Why never did you tweet that then? Gabby, please bring it up right now. Like, I can't do this anymore. This is like insane. This is so insane. I'm also happy to like take this out if you want me to, like 100%. <laughs> it's fine, I don't care. You can leave whatever in, I don't, I really don't care. In case you missed it, that was Trisha. The first time Trisha was like, oh, she is gonna edit this podcast to make me look bad. Don't want you to be upset right now, do you no, I'm not upset. I'm just like, I'm genuinely confused when we hung out. Like, you can take all this out. Like, I'm just like, when did we hang out? You like, I met you like, for minutes at a party. We never hung out. Like, seriously, off we, camera, we, when? We talked a lot, though. We did. Like, I never show. I never shared poems with anyone. I just always feel a vibe. LOL. Because we used to text so much. And then in person, it's like not. Okay. 
So again, that doesn't mean you hung out. It doesn't mean you're friends and literally no one cares What does Gabby think she is doing with this video? Like I don't know what that's about like it's so like I don't know what to say Trish, to I have like three years of conversations Let about Stop threatening people with conversations that you have saved That is Jeffree Star's job I Gross disgusting 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 and why you have no real friends. Three years Let me see the poems. Like, I would love to see the poems. It's in my own phone. Like, I have to, like, charge it. We'll turn it on. And, like, if you want to stay after and we can talk about <laughs> no, this, I'm like, good. I'm 100 See, it's like, just... when it's, like, comes down to, like, I'll actually show you. It's like, oh, I'm good. But, like... No, that's because you've done a three-hour podcast with Trisha telling her all of these things that you swear are true that she doesn't remember and doesn't believe actually happened. The other thing was the stuff about poetry. You didn't send me any poetry. I sent you my poetry. And then you want her to sit down for an additional number of minutes so that you can continue to tell her how her life happened. Like, it was real. Like, you and I talked for years. Like, I talked to you about my relationship with I talked to you about like I don't even know why she bothered to censor out Andrew. We all know that she and Andrew dated. If you didn't know, Gabby Hanna and uh, Andrew Sawicki dated. Okay, they were together for a period of time. If you don't know Andrew Sawicki, he used to be the cameraman that giggled a lot for Shane Dawson. Breakups. You talked to me about your relationship with your family. You talked to me about Sean. We talked about like your hoarding. Like we had real conversations. Okay. And like if you don't remember that shit, like I can't like, you know what I mean. That's fine. But like. It okay. happened on November 22nd, 2016, buying a VIP ticket to your show, yes, yes, yes. Uh, November 19th, 2016, my obsession with the Gabby show has been so unreal. I don't even understand. She's the most amazing thing on YouTube right now. And then uh, May 10th, 2017, every time me and the Gabby show are together, we never get selfies. It makes me extremely depressed. At a party? I don't know, like, what it was that you tweeted that, but, like, regardless, it's like every time me and the Gabby show are together, we never get selfies. It makes me extremely depressed. On 2016? 2017. Okay, so my, after my like, party, two days after my party, my party was May 8th. Whatever. Like, every time okay. we're together, we never get selfies. We hung like, out one time at that point. Whatever you want to say, but, like, you're still, like, You're publicly... acting like... Have you never been, like, you've gone out and you've seen someone that your acquaintance is with or, like, someone you've met a couple times and not been like, oh, my God, it's a shame we never get pictures together whenever we see each other, like... I don't understand the point that Gabby thinks she's making. Even if Trisha remembered posting this tweet, it still doesn't prove that they were friends. And also no one fucking cares. I'm because I'm not, I'm not going to try to like make it seem like I don't have evidence. Cause we don't take, you're right. We don't take selfies. But like, even you are tweeting every time me and Gabby are together, we don't take selfies. It makes me depressed. Like, you're saying you're obsessed with me, you're getting VIP P tickets to my show, so, like, to me, we're fucking friends. That was baseline nice, and this was before everything. This is when I was, like, you're at my party. publicly because we're having public... Because at this point, there was no issue. We had no issue. And I was like, you know, this is a girl that's nice to meet. You're nice to me. I was always being nice to you. We were never, and like... And I was always nice to you. Right. So, okay, so I publicly tweeted you before you said I had herpes. Like, what? I don't get what the, the proof is. And then... I don't get what the proof is either, Trish. I don't get what it is either. After we That we're best about... friends? No, not that we're best friends. That we're friends? I thought. Okay. This yeah. is like, but this is like a, a, this is a delusion. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I have to agree with Trisha here. I, I feel like Gabby is legitimately hurt that she thought that she and Trisha were friends. But she's taking the news that they weren't really badly and getting a little Lifetime movie about it end of the day like this isn't that serious this isn't even the crux of the problem the crux of the problem is talking about someone else's sexual health uh on a public platform to your three million ish instagram followers uh and then all the other heinous shit she's done beyond this you know like posting a video about trisha paytas after trisha has begged her to leave them alone Okay. Cause like <laughs> we didn't talk to this extent. It's it's a delusion based on. I didn't tell you about my family. You didn't tell me. I didn't even know you dated. I had no idea you dated. The interesting thing about this little reveal here, she goes back to the screenshot where Trisha was listing all the things that Gabby has done, all of these atro atrocities. And number eleven was manipulating your ex boyfriend to tears. So <laughs> when Trisha says, "I didn't know you and Andrew dated." 
and Gabby puts up the screenshot to prove that that couldn't possibly be true. Gabby just outed herself into manipulating, <laughs> to saying that she had manipulated Andrew uh, into tears. So I'm sorry, but even if Trisha is like bald face lying here, uh, Gabby still comes out looking worse. Outing your abusive behavior to own Trisha Paytas, I guess. Oh, that's. I'm I'm gonna cut that out because I don't like okay. Aunt bring to it because like I, I like respect him enough to not. Like, you just said, him. did you not just say I would talk to you yeah. about my relationship? That's what you just said I'll, I'll three minutes it. ago. <laughs> but like we ha we had a like a lot of talks, Trish. Okay. Like, okay, Gabby. I don't know what else and to then say. Remember when you like exposed our relationship online and I asked you to delete it and then you deleted the video where you exposed our relationship? Like, what relationship? Mine. What did I say? You exposed mine and his relationship. We were never public. I was like, please, please delete that, and you deleted it. Like that was in Jason's video. He it was talked your, about it. Was your it. Vlog. Okay. It was your vlog. I don't know what else to say. So she did know that I dated Andrew. Who cares? Is everyone expected? Like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I understand watching this from like a third party perspective as like a Gabby Hanna fan. You'd be like, well, of course, you know, Trish is lying. Okay, but like, do you remember every aspect of someone you are? let's call them acquaintances of someone you're acquaintances with are you hyper aware of everyone they're dating are you hyper aware and enough to remember everyone that they've dated ever really like there's no possibility that trisha could have forgotten or not cared enough to remember that andrew and gabby dated she's using like the same four screenshots how much could they have talked if all of the incriminating stuff is in like five screenshots by the way uh i don't know the timeline on this but i do remember that andrew was in some of gabby's vlogs on her vlog channel so uh she also th used him being in that vlog as clickbait by calling him a boy friend like splitting up boy and friend and um you know but it's again it's oh it's it's got to be Trisha's fault. You're yeah. going to believe what you want to believe, Gabby, Trisha, and I can't. it's not about believing what I want to believe. It's about, like, texts and, like, okay. videos. Like, okay. If you think we have this friendship, okay. I don't know what else to say to you. White flag! White flag! This is Trisha waving a white flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not mad. I mean, that if that is your reality, it can be your reality. Like, I literally, like, it's fine. I don't yeah. know. It's just, like, I think that's that's where I was in, like, a really weird place for a long time because, like, I, the same as I was telling you about the other situations where I would like go back and like look at the text and listen to the messages and be like, am I crazy? Yeah. And then like I'd look at these like literal years of conversations between us and be like, am I fucking crazy? I would look back at these years of conversation between us because again, Trish is the one obsessed, right? Not Gabby, not at all. Mm -hmm. And like those all happened. Mm -hmm. Like I have those texts, like I can read them right now. So like it's it's hard for me to hear you say that. It's it's one thing to say like it didn't mean the same thing to me as it did to you. Mm. It's another to say it didn't happen. Who gives a shit? Obviously they weren't like best friends regardless. They weren't like best friends. They weren't hanging out all the time. Who cares? Why is this something that she again, I don't know what Gabby thinks she's doing with this video besides making herself look more I'm sorry, but for lack of a better word, insane. And that's where I'm just like, I like I don't want to like argue about it. I respect like, what you think about it, Gabby. I'm not. I'm not gonna like change. But like gonna... that is gaslighting. No, no, it's not. Uh, Gabby, I respect it. I'm not gonna argue about but it. I'll, sh I'm, I'll happily show you. Okay. Yeah. I respect whatever you think. I like. But I, that's like... that's gaslighting. No. No, ma'am. No, that's not gaslighting. No. Gaslighting is what. Gabby has been doing to Trisha this entire time. Trying to convince Trisha that their reality is not their reality. Pointing the finger, literally, at Trisha and saying, you're gaslighting me by saying, okay, whatever you think, I respect whatever it is you think happened between us. I'm not clearly not going to convince you otherwise. By pointing the finger at Trisha and saying, that's gaslighting is simply uh, misdefining gaslighting like 
in a really, really shitty way. I'm glad, yeah, you, I'm glad you think that, but it's not real. I'm respecting you, you where I'm not gonna be like, that actually is crazy. That's disrespectful. I'm literally trying to respect you right now and not feeding into any more, not arguing, because it's we're clearly not agreeing on this. And me saying I respect you, like I'm not gonna disrespect you in your house, is not gaslighting. I could like... But like to, show, to tell me those texts don't exist? Show it literally right now. Like I will not continue to show it right now that I show, sent you my poetry. Set, show me where I sent you my poetry. You're and then I invited you Thanksgiving. That, like, that's like a very specific thing. Like we talked for like years. Wait, what did Gabby just say? See, it's like just... when it's like comes down to like I'll actually show you. It's like oh I'm good. Where how you've been? She's been talking for 16 minutes about oh I have the proof. I have the text. I have this. I have that. Trisha says okay, show me. Show me the thing. Show me the thing that you have. Show me the proof that you have. Show me where I sent you my poetry. Show me where I said this. Well, those are very specific things. I have years of texts. Okay. 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 If you didn't care enough to not bring a Nerf bat to a knife fight, then who cares? Let it go. Let me go. Trisha doesn't like you. That's okay. Drop me where our friendship is in the past. Move on. Get the fuck over it. Get the fuck over it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Go, like, all I can say is get him because I don't know what else to go at this point. Yeah. I am i don't want to include, like, this drama aspect of it. Okay. Like, and I, I really do hope you're okay with that. And, like, because, like, I don't, I don't want this show to be this angle. Like, I really mm -hmm. want to, like, end on, like, a positive note because, like, I like you a lot. <laughs> She's obsessed with Trisha Paytas. Okay, I'm just going to say it. Gabby Hanna is obsessed with Trisha Paytas. Just the way her face just lit up when she was like, I just, I really like you a lot. <laughs> like, she's obsessed. Like, this is, this is obsessive and weird. Because you're obsessed with me. Stop it. Get some help. And, like, this, this episode for me was supposed to be about us just, like, squashing. Yeah. Like, can we get back to a positive place, do you think? I don't know. Because I, I truly, I truly think one of us is delusional. I'm not gaslighting. Maybe I am the delusional one in this. And, like, that's totally fine. I will chalk it up to me being just on but drugs. No, I don't think you're delusional or on drugs. I don't think that's it at all. I think okay. it's just, like... Because we have vastly... Well, it's just also, it's also years of, like, maybe you just... Like, you... It didn't, you don't remember because it didn't matter to you. Like, if somebody who I didn't care about that much, like, yeah. I was talking to them just to be, like, nice to them. Yeah. And now, like, years later, they're, like, we had all these conversations. But don't say like, I'm what? gaslighting you when I say I'm trying to respect you in your house. Like, I'm just going to leave I'm it. Saying, I'm trying to end this conversation. Exactly. Exactly. Gabby just pointed out the thing that everybody has been saying that can see through this bullshit. Who cares? Clearly... This relationship between you and Trisha Paytas meant more to you. That was a misunderstanding. Move on. Let it go. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta respect you enough. I'm in your house and like, I'm gonna just respect it. That's not gaslighting. That's me not trying to perpetuate something that we clearly just disagree on. Wait, wait, wait. You do not walk into Gabby Hanna's house and act like a fucking adult. Take it back, Trisha. Like, it just, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. to that it's not gaslighting at all to say you respect well, someone's I, not gaslighting i would like to end this on like a super positive note okay. i take like a quick break we can like <laughs> have a drink have a snack like take a breath and like just come back and be positive it's fine. yeah whatever you want to do, do that it's let's fine. do that okay, okay cool <laughs> let's come back because like, I, really... I don't care what you should put out or cut i don't know all right i'm not gonna watch the rest there's a fly in my house how dare you because the rest is them feigning pleasantry. I'm exhausted. I sincerely have no idea what Gabby thought she was really doing with this video uh, because it didn't make her look better. It didn't uh, make Trisha look worse. Uh, it only made Gabby look worse and I feel like Gabby put this particular section out uh, at a time when Trisha is uh, under a certain amount of scrutiny. But I feel, in my opinion, like that's purposeful. And I just think this was the dumbest video. Like, if this was supposed to entice us for the rest of the series that will be eventually coming out later this month, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want it. This is dumb. What a dumb thing to make a 21 minute video about. However, I will be watching the entire series and I will be reacting to it in real time for you each time because I'm here to take a bullet for you, not literally.
I think that's all I have today. Friday to what will be tomorrow for you. Uh, we will be breaking down the whole podcast live. I plan to be very tired when I'm done with that and possibly very drunk. We'll see how it goes. Just see what's lurking beneath the surface together. Finally. Mm, thanks, babe. Too many truths, not enough lies. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like this video, please feel free to give it a dislike because you're a Gabby stan and I get it. Subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. We do lives here every Friday night. Sometimes they're fun. Sometimes they're whatever tomorrow's gonna be. All my social media is linked down below. All I ask is that you don't be an asshole. I hope you have a wonderful Gabby Hanna-free day and I'll see you in the next one.